Hi friends, it's Amanda May with Ardith Design. Welcome back to my channel. I love all things counted cross stitch and I'm a digital artist and designer and I hope to be one of the connecting threads that connects historic needlework to contemporary needle art. I'm very excited to be here today. I have two pattern releases to show you that I'm just so excited about. I wanna do mail call. I have a Christmas card that I got in the mail and a little bit of goodies. I want to show you what I'm working on, what I've finished, and then we'll wrap up the show with a little a little craft thing, or we'll do the craft at some point. <laughs> and if you finish out the show with our with our two our two giveaway winners, so let's get started. I want to tell you. Well, a little bit about my week. It's been um, a comedy of errors, and it's like tragic at this point. And I was joking that I feel like I've kind of won bingo, like four corner bingo, over the last month. Uh, November eighth, the campfire destroyed my mom's home, and with it, all my art and memories—you know, stuff that that you know moms and parents hold on to, like your yearbooks and your baby pictures that haven't been digitized yet and well in my case all my college art <laughs> and because I I, uh, I was a glass artist at one point I've done a lot of I've done a lot of stuff but my, so all of that is 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 gone so I kind of went through a grieving period with that and then um, I you know I've had a death in the family and then the day after Thanksgiving on Black Friday I got a flat tire with the kids in the car we had to get new tires and let me tell you tire places do not offer Black Friday specials <laughs> you know you know picking up the car in a rainstorm with children it's like oh and then things were going well and I been working really hard on my you know notebooks and getting stuff published and then my my um, my little Raji pug passed away on the eighth. So it's been it's been a long month. My little pug, um, I'm no longer a little pug lady. Uh, he crossed the Rainbow Bridge on the eighth, and we spent the whole weekend just crying and talking about him and talking to little ones about death and grief. So it's been a long, a long emotional month, but I am just so happy to be here. I'm happy to be alive. I mean, 2019 is around the corner. There's so many, you know, new beginnings, new things to be thankful for and grateful for. And I'm, I'm grateful that you're all here. On that note, that this floss tube community is so lovely. I, for mail call, I was so excited to get in the mail my very own Merry Mail Call Christmas. Pam and Steph of Just Keep Stitching ended up sending me a, a card, which I feel very grateful and honored to be officially on their mailing list. I had created my banana pants purdy pattern in their, in their honor and I, and if you're new to my channel, everyone, I'm a big fan. I'm a, <laughs> I am a big, big fan of Pam and Steph. I, I truthfully, I really, oh, I'm knocked over a goodie I wanted to show you. <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm a fan of all the, the mother-daughter floss tubers so far that I found. There's Pam and Steph. There's Kef and Debbie of Snug Harbor Crafts. And then uh, Blue horse yellow cow she had Linda she had her guest appearance of her daughter Sarah and they were delightful very I don't know I just felt elegant like I needed to be drinking wine with them or their artisanal beer excuse me <laughs> artisanal beer with them and I uh, you know just I, I'm just I'm grateful uh, there's who else I know I'm watching another mother and daughter and it of course it escapes me because I didn't I didn't write my notes down <laughs> I've been watching Country Stitchers. There's a new, there's a couple new lost tubers. I'm sorry, I'm blanking. 
Anyway, Pam and Steph just keep stitching. They're banana pants pretty pattern that I had created for them. And I created this in the, the, the first in my small and sweet sampler series. And the banana pants. And people have been kind of doing little origin stories about banana pants. And <laughs> uh, just fun, just fun little stories. And I was cracking up because I got a gift. From my husband and I had to share it with all of you apparently banana pants is a thing and it's been a thing since the 1940s at least I got are you ready <laughs> look at that they are little salt and pepper shakers and they are anthropomorphic fruit salt and pepper shakers from the 1940s with little blue pants and the the cork is inside and I thought maybe something was damaged with them because one banana is a different color than the other banana they're not glazed so I was wondering if they were damaged and so I went on to the the internet and I started looking up the anthropomorphic uh bananas to see about getting us another set of them well apparently this is the glaze this is this is the way they all came I found a couple sets on eBay and well they were out of my price range to say the least but I am so excited I officially have a little anthropomorphic fruit to go with my banana pants party along with my fake bananas and my fake fruit and all the things. And then look at this. Look at what one of my kids found me. It's a kid's necklace. It's on one of those little like stretchy things. But look at this little kitty cat. A kid, my kid, one of my kids found this for me, right? Like, like paid money and got me this. How cool is that? So these are my two gifts. So amongst the sadness comes joy and thoughts of new things new things there are I have a new pattern to show you do, 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 do. I wanted to have like something to to shake and rattle and roll but I don't want to be too obnoxious I know I'm already a little <laughs> I'm already a little obnoxious okay so we'll do that <laughs> Here it is. This is oh, do -do, do -do, do -do, do -do, do -do, do There he is. Here is the second in my small and sweet sampler series. This is Terry, and he is pulling salt water taffy on the boardwalk in his 1920s bathing suit. And then he has his little helpers here. There's the Maryland blue crab. Then the iconic, you know, red crab, little orange crab. I love it. And here are salt water taffy flanking the sides of Mr. Terry. He is adorned with little small uh it's very thin rickrack hand dyed and he is on an r and r reproductions linen and i love him right here i don't know if you can see he's holding a milk glass candy container because the little crabs are feeding up the taffy and then they're going they're snipping it and it's falling into the bowl so they can get wrapped for everyone to enjoy. I love him. He is the same exact stitch count as Banana Pants. He is uh, 79 by 87. And of course, real life, I start dropping things. They, it uses basically the same color palette. I did use different, of course, it's, I'm having a hard time as you see. The, the camera's having a hard time adjusting to the difference in light. I did use different 
cloth, a different linen. And I think that's a huge learning experience for me because knowing that I was making and developing a sampler series, I was making a series, I should have had it be uniform. They're uniform in size and pretty much uniform in color palette except for the linens are different. So they, I do think they look a little disjointed in a sense that you don't see the color cohesion of the linen. But please bear with me. I am a new designer, but I'm really enthusiastic and I really hope that you like them. And Terry here is pulling taffy on the boardwalk for everyone to enjoy. And I thought, well, what could I do to decorate him the way I decorated Banana Pants Purdy? She has the 1950s fruit salad medley accoutrement. Well, where's my taffy? <laughs> so I was searching and I couldn't find anything that really jumped out at me. And then while I want to make all the things and be an enthusiastic crafter, Polymer clay is not my forte. <laughs> and I sat down and I tried to make little taffy with polymer clay. I watched the YouTube tutorials, the miniatures. I mean, <laughs> I gave it a I gave it a good solid effort. <laughs> hmm, I'm not good with polymer clay. <laughs> but I figured out a really good idea to how to finish this using sustainable materials and it's okay if it looks a little wabi-sabi so are you ready to see what I made okay let me see. I'll show you all right so in my milk glass scissor frog I decided to put I do have real salt water taffy okay New Jersey saltwater taffy not Maryland saltwater taffy not that there's anything wrong with Ocean City saltwater taffy I'm not this just happens to have been made in New Jersey. <laughs> but I wanted to make little, I wanted to make a little bouquet of saltwater taffy stuff. But, you know, ants, small children, and until last week, an animal, um, a dog, I, I didn't want to have just candy laying around, especially because, as you know, you don't want to have food around your stitching because it attracts bugs and and, and nibblers and things that you don't want near your fabric. So I decided to think about something and I made these and the backing has a lot to be left to be desired, but I wanted to show you what I made using, I'm gonna make a bouquet, mind you. So here's just the start of it. Uh, using, da 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 da, caps from soda containers. Oh, twine. So I literally went into a store and just bought a yard of twine. <laughs> she printed out a receipt. She gave me a bag. I felt like her, her store materials cost more than the twine that I purchased. Yeah. <sighs> anyway, I'm going to use the twine. I'm going to make a little bouquet, a little pick. I'm going to try to persilify it. You know how she puts all the cute little picks and stuff. So in order to make these little fake saltwater taffy, all you need is some wax paper, store brand, doesn't have to be fancy schmancy, and then your bottle caps. I have two different kinds to show you. These are the fruit pouches and the baby food pouches, the, the lids. I've had these, and then look at this lid. How fancy is that? I think that came on some like artisanal orange juice. I'm not gonna cover that up because I like that one. That's gonna stay in my stash. Yes, I have a stash. Do you see this? Craft with all the things. All right, so just to make the little taffy, all you do, I, I ripped the, the wax paper. That's gonna crinkle a little bit and I just folded it over and then you just did a little, I just did a little foldy fold. And then there is my saltwater taffy. How cool is that? I, I did wash the bottle caps ahead of time so there's no food residue. So here's the real, here's the fake, not too shabby. 
I will say that with wax paper, if you use hot glue, remember hot wax, hot glue, da 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 da. But if you want to um, E6000 or something to stick it, or I mean, if you're really feeling like burning your tips of your fingers, if, I mean, if you really want that hot glue experience, I then I highly suggest you hot glue. <sighs> yeah. I wasn't I wasn't thinking that one through I hot glued I did I, I did hot glue this to the back don't, don't hot glue don't do it okay that is kind of a little idea on sustainable sustain crafting sustainably I had a little bottle cap collection I mean I've got like milk jug caps I've got a bunch of different caps I mean they come in all shapes and sizes uh, and, and little fun things to craft with. So there's that. Oh my goodness, I forgot another mail call thing. Okay. As I told you all last week, I dove deep, like deep, deep. I dove head first into looking at all of the Danish advent, advent calendars, the Jewel calendars. I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly from, from Europe, which I love. Everything Danish Handcraft Guild, I love. I love all the things. So I had made this vintage advent calendar style because I couldn't find anything online. Well, I had bid on a bunch of stuff and I didn't win any of it because, well, it just wasn't meant to be, right? I didn't win any of the advent calendars. However, I did in my impulse adventure, I did. I did win, happy enough, this amazing gem. I love it. It is a Pernum of Copenhagen counted cross stitch kit. And when I saw it, it had two images, the front picture here and the back picture with all the stuffs. It came with a white linen and DMC threads, the needle, everything. And I saw this and I couldn't focus. I was trying to see what this was an image of. I saw the badger. Hello, badgers. I love badgers. That's our family animal. Okay, pugs and badgers. Honey badger don't care. All right. Anywho, I saw the badger. I had to have it. I looked all over Pinterest, all over the internet, trying to research this kit number, which it's uh, 770... 70530 and I could not find any information on this kit and I was having a hard time like seeing close up what it looked like because this was a picture of a picture right well I win the auction it comes to me I open it up in a fever like trying to figure out what it is it's a birth record and so I got this so I think I'm gonna stitch this and put my kids information or I'm thinking I might just stitch this center motif because it's so precious and it's got the little badger and the little stroller. I just love it. I love it so much. So I got the complete kit. So now I have a big project to start. I've never, I've never done a big project. I've only done smalls. Like, I don't know if it's a fear of commitment. I don't know what it is. I have, I literally, I'm not. I can I cannot stress this enough. I was so excited for the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery Stitch Along last year when they announced the Into the Jungle that I bought all the things. I bought the fabric, the needle minder, the floss organizer, the pin. I have my cross stitch pin. I have all the stuffs, right? Well, I I don't really like surprises and the whole point of the Stitch Along it was like a mystery every month they released a new animal. And you stitch along. Well, I I didn't know what animal was gonna come next, and they got me. They got me on the sloth because that was their that was their hook. Okay, I love sloths. I have the year long sloth calendar. Sloth, sloth, sloth. So they hooked me with the sloth. I haven't stitched one stitch on it because I wanted to wait till December when they released the final animal, and then I could see it in its entirety in all of its glory, and then I could start stitching it. That's why I could never do the stiatch along, which by the way was fantastic. Thank you all so much. I had so much fun following everybody on Instagram and your floss tubes. Holy smokes. The ladies, uh, the owners of stiatch along, they are brilliant. It's 
not my style because I don't like surprises. However, I loved living vicariously through all of you that did, that did do it. It was awesome. All right, so that was mail call. I was so, I was so excited to show you my new pattern. I forgot to show you everything else. Speaking of new patterns, I'm going to just keep holding this pug. I hope you don't mind. I, like I said, I'm, I'm having a really hard time. Um, oh, yeah. All right. Uh, my, my new pattern is morning plaque and not the plaque on your teeth. And not morning like wake up in the morning. Like morning, I'm sad. I started drafting this pattern a couple months ago. And I was watching season two of Stranger Things. I had just binge watched the first season of Stranger Things again. Because I'd seen it. I'd already seen the entire season once before. And then I watched it again leading up to season two. And I started charting the mornings are, the sheriff says, you know, mornings are for coffee and contemplation, is what he says. Meaning, you know, don't talk to me. I haven't had my coffee yet. I want to sit in silence, drink my coffee. Hello, life goals, right? <laughs> so I really liked that mornings are for coffee and contemplation. And I thought about it as a, as a mother and an artist. Like, I don't really have time to, like, sit and contemplate. I mean, I'm, like, running around and making sure kids are are okay or not falling down the stairs which oh so my my disaster or bingo by the way you know my how did I get to the b-i-n-g-o uh I fell down the stairs last week like legit fell down the stairs like not like a little trip no 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 my kid I went to open up the baby gate and my kid lunged at the at the stairs I lunged trying to keep the kid away from the stairs push my kid out of the way just in time for my feet to fly up underneath me and I slammed in the entire flight of stairs. So last week I could barely move like went to the doctor went to the chiropractor nothing is broken nothing is broken so I am so grateful for that okay. But I had a chance to work on this and it's again things happen everything happens for a reason okay. This is my new pattern. It has two colors. It's the stitch count is 150 wide by 90 tall or high. And if you do it on like an 18 count, the, the count, it'll be um, eight by five inches. And I just think it's so fun because I don't know about all of you, but when I go to a funeral or when I think about sad times or grief, you know, a lot of times that icebreaker is food. Um, and I'm think I was thinking comfort food, like you have the casseroles, people, you know, make casseroles around the death of someone, or you have the coffee and the cake or the coffee and the donuts where you come together in loving memory of the person or the animal or the loss of a community um, and one of the things the conversation starter usually is you know you talk about the weather but you also eat food together <laughs> and that's what caught that's what inspired me uh, stranger things and comfort eating sci-fi and food speaking of food I am drinking about to drink um, mm. I made my own soda. Last month I took a artisanal soda ginger make your own ginger soda class and learned how to do it's called a wild culture. Mm. The bottom there that's cranberry remnant. I made a ginger clementine cranberry soda. I think they came out with this checklist on BuzzFeed or something about, you know, you're a hipster when, or, you know, you're a millennial when, and one of, <laughs> I think one of the checklist things was, you know, you're a hipster millennial when you start brewing your own kombucha. <laughs> and I, I think I read that article the same day. I'm like making a ginger bug to make my artisanal soda, which is one step away from kombucha, by the way. <laughs> Mm. 
All right. When else am I working on? You saw my two new patterns. Oh, so I am working on my paradise stitching for the town of paradise. And I got a little bit further. Here's the paradise sign, the flowers. And then I am going to, I decided I'm going to put some strawberries. And then I think I told all of you that I was debating about adding a phoenix, you know, phoenix rising from the ashes of the town. And then, you know, I, you guys and gals and stitching friends, you gave me such meaningful feedback about don't clutter it, don't, you know, Amanda, we like your ideas, but kind of pare it back. You don't, you don't need to put on all the things, right? So I thought about putting a phoenix on it, and then it was really, it's very serendipitous. I still thinking, do I put the phoenix? Do I don't put the phoenix? someone tags me on Facebook for this project and it is the key tribute project and I hope you all don't mind I'm going to read it to you the key tribute project a tribute for camps fire survivors and the artist Jess Mercer she is wanting to create an art piece constructed out of the survivors keys into the statue of a phoenix that will be given to the town of paradise as a gift and a reminder for all of us to unlock our possibilities after this tragedy Whew. i contacted the artist and i said hey i i actually have my keys from paradise may i send them to you i'm not in paradise i don't live there i haven't lived there in over a decade but may I send you my keys and she said yes I thank you I'd love the participation and I said hey well what about can other people send you keys that are not part of paradise or not part of the community and she got back to me again and said yes absolutely just mark them separately so that I know that this wasn't a specific key from the town and I'm going to use the keys from the community at large as the base, as the construction to create the Phoenix bird. So yes, send me your keys. So she gave me her address. Her home was uh, destroyed in the fire and she gave me her personal address so I can send her my keys. I wanna put it out there if anybody would like to send keys, uh, you can contact me and maybe we can coordinate something. You could send me a key and then I could get all the keys together and then send them to her. I mean, comment below or you can message me. I'll put both um, below if anybody is interested. And what I thought I would do, uh, if, if I don't know, if, if you're new to my channel, a couple months ago um, when one of my family members passed away, I created a freebie pattern chart of 143 I love you. And on the chart, I put a key, like there's a, it's charted with a key. And I thought about making that piece into a key fob and sending the keychain with my paradise keys to this artist. It, just an idea. Uh, the artist, she says that, um, I'm an artist and member of the Paradise community. I want to help heal. I am in the works of creating a piece for the town of Paradise. The one time I was left speechless was when I saw a key on my keychain that no longer had a door to open. I will be using keys to create a piece and I will move around Chico in honor of my community until the town is rebuilt, which I believe it will be rebuilt, where I will have a permanent home. I need somewhere to place my grief and I would love to create a piece to remind us all the key to moving forward is to unlock our possibilities. Um, uh, comment below or let me know or message me if you'd like to participate, if you'd like to um, send a key. I'm going to wait. Uh, she said she's going to, she hasn't started constructing her sculpture yet. She was gonna give it two months. She's She's got key collection things all around in um, 
Red Bluff, Chico, Paradise. I don't know if she has anything in Gridley. I know like the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchers, they're based out of that area. Um, anyway, uh, but she gave me her address so I can, I can mail, um, keys to her. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait until like the end of the year. So January to send mine in if anybody wants to piggyback. All right. Thank you. Thank you for listening. All right. Back to the stitching. Back to the stitching. Okay. Oh, I have, I do have a finish this week. I do. I do. So I, I started stitching heart and hand. Uh, we won Christmas bird. I have it finished and because I have young kids, I was not able to pull out the iron. So I apologize. Everything is wrinkled and disheveled. <laughs> Forgive me. Real life. Real life. Here it is. Here is my little birdie. I finished. I did not add the term Christmas because I wanted to enjoy him a little longer. And the whole reason I chose to stitch this was I was bawling my eyes out on... Saturday and I didn't want to work on any of my other projects and I saw that this in my stash had seaweed gentle art seaweed and I went yep I know exactly where that thread is and I have a red let's go and so I impulse start started this I started this on impulse there was no planning there was no foresight nothing here we go I did not have the little button for the present so I added a little heart in one of my 40 plus shades of brown thank you DMC I added this, uh, the ornament, I stitched it uh, with endive, and then the present is, and then the, the red, I used farmhouse red. And I'm really happy, I did not do the Smyrna cross for the eye, I ended up doing a uh, colonial knot, and then I did white back stitching, and I think it turned out really cute. So I just need to make it into an ornament. Speaking of ornaments, I have been remiss. My little P. Buckley Moss is looking P. Buckley sad. I have not finished him. So I, I get a, a, a D minus. I failed. I don't think I'm going to have him ready for this Christmas. So now I know what I'm doing for 2019. I've got to stitch those Santas. i got to follow Priscilla and Chelsea's stitching schedule. What is it? Santa Sunday or Saturday Sunday? S Saturday Santa or Sunday Santa stitching? And... I got this book in my haul, The Spirit of Christmas, and I wanted to show, I was thinking, you all inspire me so much, I just can't even tell you. Look at this little, look at that egg tree. Hello, adorbs, there's no counted cross stitch, but look at those little chicken stars and the little baskets, so precious. And then this, I thought of Beth Twist and her 106 or 116 festive little fobs, she showed her art dowel and told, told us all our, her story of like going through the airport and they like made her check her bag because it looked like a dangerous weapon. Like this whole big thing all over wooden dowels. So I saw this and thought, well, maybe we just need to turn her little dowels into some spoons. Make a cute little spoon tree. So I love the little spoons. And like I said, <laughs> you all inspire me so much. There is in this book white chocolate Oh, profuterol. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Anyway, there's like two cross stitch patterns on this entire book, but I still managed to get inspired. <laughs> all right, thank you all. Let's do giveaway, giveaway, giveaway. Whew. All right, Leanne Russell and Yankee Creek Stitcher were my winners this week, Leanne. One for Banana Pants Purdy and Yankee Creek. One for the snowman. So let me know down below. Oh, kids are coming. Congratulations to my giveaway winners for Country Spirits Santa Snowman and Banana Pants Purdy with the stuffs. Uh, thank you all so much for joining me this week. Thank you for inviting me into your stitching space into your into your lives it means a lot to me the cross stitch community has really helped me and I appreciate all of you more than I can say uh you I, I feel welcomed I feel loved I feel I feel joyous and I feel the need to create 
and you inspire me and I hope to inspire some of you in some small way. You know, a bottle cap and some wax paper. Here we go. Have a great week. I'll see you next Wednesday.